Hey guys, Aaron from HouseOfHaHa.com, and we are still up here in the uh, Rockies in Colorado. And uh, I thought I'd take this time with this beautiful sun, doing a little drawing, working on our next edition of Into the Wild, the comic strip about Buddy and I, and about this whole journey. And I'd uh, take this beautiful view to share with you and tell you a story. Um, uh, it's been asked by us and by a couple people, uh, what does it mean to have a reasonable day, or what is, where does that come from? Because um, if there's one design, House of Ha Ha is more known for like, our flagship, like if this was our enterprise, you know, for Starfleet, like this would be it. We have a reasonable day. And uh, here is the, and this is the story behind that. So what it means to have a reasonable day refers to not putting undue pressure upon other people by having to wish them a good day. Because that's what's, you know society and standard politeness teaches you tell someone to have a good day your good intentions there however what if they're already having a terrible day what if like their dog died that morning or like they woke up late for work or they have a horrible headache you know whatever it might be what if their day has already gotten to a point that is like ah i passed it you know what i mean again it, that's all about a perspective but there is people who find saying you know have a good day can be a lot of pressure uh, where I first learned the expression when I was working at a detox center in downtown Phoenix. And uh, you would um, see people in the morning or two pa patients were coming and going and, you know, interact with them. Of course, you would say, have a good day. You want to be polite. You want to make them feel welcome. You want to make sure like, this is a, a safe place to be. So you offer those, you know, those just common courtesies. So you would say, you know, hey, have a good day. And they'd say, hey, go fuck yourself. And you're like, why? I just said, have a good day. And they're just like, well... You know, I'm kicking heroin, or, you know, I'm in three days without drinking, and I'm puking my guts out, or I'm coming down off meth, and I haven't slept in, like, you know, four days, or whatever it is. You know, they've already, like, they're not having, like, a good day. So, to them, it's just almost a, sort of a reminder of, like, screw you, my day's not good. You know what I mean? They're having a bad day, and fair enough. Fair enough to them. It totally made sense. So, um... An expression I first heard and started using when working in the detox center, I started applying to my everyday life when I interact with patients, and I would say, have a reasonable day. Because you can't be upset at having a reasonable day. You know, it's, it's uh, anything above midway, it's all reasonable. You know, anything, anything above, you know, reasonable, it's all cherry on top. And they can't be mad at you. And most people, if you go and use it, when you go out there and someone says, have a good day, you say, you have a reasonable day. Watch, most people will be a little taken back, they'll smile. Um, it brightens up their day. It makes them smile. So when we were putting together House of Haha -Ha after I left that career and we put everything into, you know, making our own company, our own T-shirt company, using our art and humor to express our views in the world and to make people smile, you know, and to build a, a successful business that's based upon cooperation and um, happiness uh, based on two people's love, you know, and not evil at all. That's one of our mottos is don't be evil. So... In the first 37 designs we made when we published House of Haha -Ha on uh, February 2nd, 2011, this was one of them. Um, I was thinking about trying to think of designs. I was just had a little book I keep like notes in, and that experience and that expression, you know, came back to me. And what this is what popped in my head was this little straight-faced emoticon. Have a reasonable day below it. We put it out there, and it has been a really cool experience because. We have made people in different countries laugh. Like, it's one thing if, like, you know, you're, like, your friends think it's funny or you maybe the general area you live in, like, you know, we're relative little sense of humor, you know. But if you're stretching out, like, I have this joke and you make someone in Canada or Australia or the U.K., you know, Norway, uh, you make them laugh, then it's, like, it was even a little bit of a, a bigger compliment on, like, how much this expression chimes with people and why it's one that I'm glad we use. It's one I'm very proud of. Uh, I'm always excited when I come across, it's only happened a few times, but I come across people who wear one of these shirts. So um, anyway, that's the story to what it means to have a reasonable day. It just means uh, sometimes that's a lot of pressure to put on someone. So offer them a reasonable day instead. All right, this is Aaron from HouseOfHaha.com. I hope you like this story. Please go to HouseOfHaha.com and you can pick up have a reasonable day when on a long sleeve like this you can get it on a black shirt you can get it on a gray a white a coffee cup a print hat we got a bunch of stuff a bag i mean you don't wear t-shirts that's okay we got a little we got a bunch of stuff with have a reasonable day why you're going to just love and giving a gift to someone plus you help us 
get this next leg of our journey. So I can sit here in, in beautiful places like this with you and chit chat, work on art, you know, to hopefully make you laugh, make t-shirts to make you laugh. I'm putting a lot of love into this. And uh, I like feeling that back from you guys. And I'm so grateful for all you following us and subscribing to our channel and being part of this journey. Aaron Gazzardi from HouseOfHod.com. Have a reasonable day.